All right, we're back with part three of Toonstruck. Uh, last episode, we perused a few of the shops in the Qtopia town. Uh, we're going to continue to do so in this episode. Fantastic. All right, let's get right into it. I don't know why you wait for me to say something. I, You know what? I just feel like I need to acknowledge you, I guess. It, it's, it's, it's fine. It's the same when you do an intro and when I, I just feel like I have to be like, I'm here too. I know, but I don't even care. I'm here. Oh. It's, no. Hello. All right. The costume shop. All right, let's take a look. Are we going to costume shop? Yeah. I'm assuming it's costume. Oh wow. The, those are some pointy boobs. Of <laughs> them. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, chatty chat. Those book pages are so covered with spit. Oh yeah, like, she's a uh... crap. She is licking the hell out of those fingers. Oh my god! Like, where is my head today? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Miss Fit. Welcome to the costume rama <laughs> Okay. Alrighty. That's all right. Not even. I am like a total agnostic. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> like your book. Like. Well, yeah! I mean, there's no such thing as a bad book, you know? Oh, no, honey. I've, I've, I've not, read yeah. more than a few. <laughs> Why, I was just saying that to Drew here. Books are the best. They're the tops. Good old books. Oh, all those words and everything. Are you trying to get in good with Misfit? Maybe. <laughs> Thinking it's not gonna happen. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about, Drew. So, Miss. Stop hitting on her. <laughs> She's mine. <laughs> Jesus. Light. Just the two of us. Sounds rad. It's like totally cool that you're so into reading. You wouldn't believe the amount of jerks that try picking me up, pretending they like books. Uh. I mean, I like books. I hate reading, but I like books. Oh, yeah, books are fine. Yeah. They're very decorative. I, I use them around the house. Yeah. Doorstops. Yeah. You know. Frisbees. A book would be a terrible frisbee. A uh, stepping stone in a pond. Just stack them all up. You don't like books at all. I know. I like books. I like books. I I'm on to you. I just told you I, I like am, books. I am on to you. I just told you. They're yeah. very useful. I can't trust anything you say. Oh. So, if you love books, why do you want a costume? Costuma. Costuma Rama. Look, we don't all get to work the jobs we want to work, all right? <laughs> don't rub it in. And like, transcend your physical appearance. <laughs> Plus, reading and costuming. Yeah, this, this is kind of a weird question, Drew. Yeah. My costumes are based on something I've read. Oh, so you like animals. Why do you work in a Starbucks? Because <laughs> I have to pay rent, fucker. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> Oh, sorry. It's like out on consignment. Bummer. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird line reading. <laughs> Your costumes. Thanks. Business has been like totally great lately. I just finished up my Rentorama promotion and I gave out Mongo vouchers. Mongo vouchers. What Mongo? I I don't know. I, I'm not hip with the kids. I've heard Mondo. <laughs> I think Mondo is something the children sometimes say. His costume voucher for him. So if you remember, we uh, stole a voucher uh, from yeah, King Hugh. I do. King Hugh forgot to authorize. Oh no! Now we have to go get our stolen thing authorized. Oh dang! That's gonna be awkward. But since we're already here, and uh... mm -hmm. but she's a stickler for the rules. Well, you know. That's fair. You you can't you can't let anarchy reign in your costume arama. Mm -hmm. Not that you guys would ever do anything like that. No. I mean that would just be flat out wrong. Yeah, absolutely unthinkable. Cool. I knew you'd like understand. Who <laughs> cares that they're gonna do it and they're shitty? Book of insoluble puzzles. Insoluble puzzles. Hey, what a blast! They don't. They don't, like, dissolve in water. Yeah. <laughs> I'll read anything. Is that the joke, or did they just... 
I, the wrong word. I, 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 don't, I don't know. It's tough. Well, you start talking like that all the time. But so that's it for Misfit here. We'll have to come back later when we could redeem uh, that costume voucher. All right. Misfit is voiced by April Winchell, mm-hmm. who uh, was Peg on uh, Goof Troop, Pete's wife. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, she's also Miss Finster from Recess. Oh. Claire Bell Cow. Wow. They really have uh, who's who of voice acting in here. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, do you? Why, look, brother. I think we've got some new faces here in the bakery. I like these guys already. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> why. They just they fill me with a warm feeling. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, I guess. It just, maybe it's just that they're frogs in adorable little chef's outfits. <laughs> and they have a piano in their bakery. I mean, I yeah. it's good. Hey! So, and an old man comes up to me and asks directions to the fish market. The fish market, I say. Don't ask me. I thought you brought the strudel. <laughs> Wait a minute. That didn't make any sense. It didn't? No. He's right. All right. It's just not the same now that it's just me. Mm-hmm. Just you and you? No. Me. That's me. Hold it right there. He's dough. I'm me. We also have a middle brother. Of course. Of course you do. Yep, yep. Our poor did he die? Oh, he did die. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Middle Bakery. Departed? Did Ray croak? No, he departed. One day he went out. Oh, mm-hmm. I don't feel bad anymore. Oh. And ever since, it's been a tough go for me and me. Well, guess we're gonna find Ray. I, I, yeah, maybe. Either that or we're gonna dress up in a frog costume and be Ray. Yeah, we'll just. This is just our our new life. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just take it over. As long as they're happy. <laughs> Silly of you, Drew. And Ray, he, he used to run the regular bakery. Oh, I was perfect, yeah. After I made my dough, Ray would cook it in the nice rolls and sell those in his shop. The day after, Ray would pass the leftover rolls on to me, and I'd sell them at my place. This is a terrible way to run a business. Yeah. <laughs> Those dough is left uncooked. And me shelves are bare. Why can't you just learn to cook? So, uh, dough here is voiced by Jim Cummings. <gasps> I love Jim Cummings. Yeah, so Jim Cummings, uh, best known for doing Tigger, Winnie the Pooh. He's also Mr. Bumpy from Bump in the Night. Oh. Mm-hmm. My favorite. And he's also uh, the Terror Mask in the Splatterhouse, the newest Splatterhouse video game. Oh, so good. If you ever want to hear the voice of Tigger Swear, uh, go check out that game. Yeah. Pretty good. So you're saying you think they meant to kick If you're looking for an LP of it, check out Fiendly's LP. Yep. It's pretty funny. Uh, Shaw tried to, or Shaw showed me that one. Yeah. And uh, kept telling me, yeah, you can hear Tigger Swear. And I had no idea what she was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Things went from bad. And then finally it kind of clicked. Like, oh, they have the same voice actor? Yeah, yeah. And without butter. Well, and uh, and Jim Cummings also voices Pete from Goof Troop. So we have Pete, and we also have April Winchell, who is Pete's wife. Mm-hmm. And we, yeah, that's great. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, sure. Who else? And me is uh, Rob Paulson again. Nice. Yeah. Don't talk to strangers. Always take a sweater. Don't forget to write. <laughs> now they look really depressed. Well, they you know, you put on a happy face for company, but uh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Let's just hide. Uh. Hide from <laughs> hide from our problems. I guess it's just. That's not a good no. Oh. <laughs> But, so yeah, the main takeaway from uh, the Baker boys here are that, yeah, so we do want to try and find Ray. We want to break their piano and take things. Yes, that too. Bringing misery wherever we go. And, uh, and yeah, so Ray is pretty pivotal to uh, their operations. They can only make dough uh, at this point. They can't cook it without <laughs> Ray. 
Maybe they don't know how to operate an oven. Coffee bun bun in a big hurry. Maybe she's late for a very important date. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, she does not look good. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Bon bon, I presume. That's me! <laughs> oh, what have you wrought upon the world, Drew? Fluffy. I'm fuzzy and fluffy and cute and cuddly, and I just couldn't be happier. Oopsie, I just showed an itty bitty fib. You see, ever since that bad, bad Mr. Nefarious started messing up Utopia with his nasty machine, I've been just an eensy bit cranky. That nasty man is ruining everything! Just look at my meadow! Nasty, nasty, nasty! You're, uh, you're pretty dramatic there, girl. <laughs> I'm being a great big grouchy pants. I should be welcoming you. Welcome, welcome. Well, uh... <laughs> you're a little overwhelming there. Yeah. L l oh. Love to make special new friends. Oh, boy. Is it a beautiful day? <laughs> okay. You're pretty shaken up. Golly, yes, but it gets much, much worse. You see, some bunny gave me this cotton candy to cheer me up. But I prefer popcorn! What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Ungrateful. <laughs> yeah, she's a little... Yeah, I... I, I... <laughs> Apparently, she seems like traumatized by the whole malevolator business. Mm, apparently. All this is done to this meadow. I guess we should be thankful he didn't hit us. You know, I think we have my lucky charm to thank for that. A gun. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, awkward flex. Lux. Don't worry. I know he was just trying to say something nice, like how bunnies are lucky and lovable. No, I, I literally carried around a, a, a body part from one of your friends. I killed it myself. <gasps> so, Fluffy. <laughs> I mean, you draw her. I, yeah, it's kind of interesting because Drew doesn't really comment too much on how he created Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun. Yeah. And uh, based on the, like, the story like, and his backstory, Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun is his only commercial success. Yeah, so you think he'd have some idea about... Well, I think he, like, it, he does, but it's just that the game doesn't really show it. Yeah. Fluffy Bottom! Hey, guess what? No! <laughs> uh, all right. You know, King Hugh. Oh, yes. I just love Huey. Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun is a little annoying, but I love Tress McNeil's voice acting so much that she makes her a lot more palatable, I find. Oh, yeah. No, just, I'm not really... No, I'm kind of enjoying her, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Nice is my special... But you know me, I can't enjoy something without making fun of it. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So, Fluffy, what's so bad about cotton candy? Yeah, cotton candy's amazing. <laughs> I'm too old, I can't really eat cotton candy anymore. Cotton candy! Oh! My poor little tummy! Oh yeah, I mean, I'm only good for like, two bites, but... But I just, I can't stop eating. Oh. Well, Fluffy, I'm afraid we have to go. I just get, I get way too sugary. Fair enough. Exciting life stories with old people. <laughs> I can't eat candy like I used to. I think this chicken has too much flavor. <laughs> Blander! <laughs> Burn it more. <laughs> For which I am eternally grateful. Yeah. All right. Oh, please don't sit and laugh to yourself. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, honey. I'm sorry. All right, from one conversation to another. All right, talking to a scarecrow. Hello. I like this background, by the by. Yeah. What do you think you're doing? Well, I, I thought maybe, you know. <laughs> this person is is drawn with a black outline compared to the background. I think that means they're interactive. Well, okay, maybe I did. It's not like I 
I mean, you know what? If you're in a cartoon world, you might as well just try talking to everything. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Scarecrow is just a... Hello? Scarecrow. You were saying... <laughs> yeah, I think we're owed an apology. Ragclad bundle of straw. Or did that all happen in some beastly dream? I don't know. Dreams are the strangest things, aren't they? I had this simply divine one the other day. I was floating high above the world, the wind gently cradling and caressing me as I gracefully swooped and pirouetted in the air. Oh, and through all of it, I was wearing this teal chiffon scarf that was to die for. <sighs> it can be really cool. I mean, you're kind of wearing a teal chiffon scarf right now. Is that teal? That's more... Yeah. No, that's blue. I guess you're right. You don't know colors. I tried. Mr. Scarecrow, what are you doing here? Just, uh, hanging around? <gasps> Hardly. If you must know, I'm watching over my babies. Your... babies? The crows, darling. The crows. That's nice. <laughs> At least someone looks out for the crows. Yeah. As far as I know, scarecrows are supposed to scare crows. For your information, I am not... Is he a carecrow? <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you so rarely guess things at RLPs. I know. You get so excited when you get one. I know. I'm not like you, guessing the whole game plot in two seconds. Yeah. Her sort to look after them. By the wear and tear from throwing seed alone. Just look at these hands. Are these the hands of the idol? I don't think so, sailor. <sighs> well, I suppose it's the price I pay for not wearing rubber gloves. Have you seen the gaudy colors those things come in? Yeah, they're like the same color as your actual hands. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yellow is like a big... Yeah, I no, I'm terrible, aren't I? <laughs> so the Carecrow does get a bit of uh, flack nowadays because he is a little stereotypical. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things when I see people um, talk about what they don't dislike about the game, uh, he's kind of one of them. Mm -hmm. He's a nice guy, though. I like Carecrow. Yeah. Hate it. I call it Cape Fear. It's not like I had any... Is it voiced by anyone we know? Uh, he is voiced by Jeff Bennett, who's not, like... Not like a... Wow. Oh, I should... I need to choose my words carefully. He's not, like, uber famous. Like, mm -hmm. he, he's not someone you would recognize by name, like right. Jim Cummings. Yeah. Um, but he has been in a lot of stuff. He's also been in Animaniacs. Oh, okay. Uh, Tiny Toons... He's been in Captain Planet. Oh. Um, Tell you what, you give us a cloak. Yeah, so again, not like the... <laughs> I feel bad, I don't want to crap on him. No, I know what it's you just, mean, though. Yeah, it's just that he's... No, this happened. He's well known, or he's not well known, but he's done a lot of really good work, and it's, you know... Yeah, well, it's like, it's one of those things where I think he's he's well known within, like, voice actor circles. But yeah. I don't think, like, he's not somebody who... Uh, like kind of a casual person is gonna know. Yeah. Exactly the outfit you need. Yes. Though I, you know, to be honest, I think a lot of uh, more casual animation fans probably wouldn't know a lot of voice actors to begin with. There, well, the major ones like like Rob Paulson. Mm -hmm. You know, like he's probably like the big one I think with in in the game with uh, just with like the breadth of. Yeah, and see, I wouldn't have known his name. I didn't know his name till I met you. Yeah, to be honest. I see, and I, I sometimes will fuck up his name, and instead of Rob Paulson, I'll call him Paul Robson, and oh. I have no idea why. Because it's kind of funny. I so if I ever do that in the LP, I apologize. Little <laughs> feathered hearts, but I'm afraid gossiping with them is a bit of a one-way street. If you know what I mean. To their credit, they are good listeners, and that's very important, as we all know. I mean, don't you just want to scream when you get stuck with someone who goes on and on and on and doesn't let you get a word in edgeways? Yes! <laughs> the hardest person to know is yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, deep. <laughs> Toonstruck brings the important lessons. <laughs> It must be rough having a kingdom come under attack. Oh, you big silly. That's the least of his troubles. I mean, just look at his ensemble. Huh? Those baggy royal robes. Ugh. I just grin. Also, he's a giant smiley face. Mm-hmm. Now, if I were king, having impeccable dress sense would be mandatory for all my subjects. I, I huh. dream of that regime. I would hate that. I don't want to have to wear, like spiffy clothes every day if someone like provided them to me i'd be fine with it 
I guess. It's what's his plan for rolling out this this kingdom wide dress code? Yeah, we need to hear more about your policies. Yeah. Straw man? Sounds swell. So if we bring you a new outfit, you'll give us your cloak, right? Honey, for a new outfit, I'll give you my cloak and sing Act Two of West Side Story. Thanks, but we'll just stick with the cloak. No way, I, I kind of want to see that. Yeah, don't speak for us. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Kill me with humiliation? Slay me with dreariness? It could be a really nice parka. I can't. Look, we have to wear parkas. We live in Canada. <laughs> This is insulting. Yeah. To me as a Canadian. Let's write letters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to this. this. No, I mean, like, nice letters. Dear Toonstruck. <laughs> Fuck uh, you. Oh, wow. Love Canada. <laughs> well, we gotta be going. All right, boys. But don't forget about your friend the Carecrow. Be sure to keep me posted. As if I wasn't already. Oh, because he's... Oh, I get it. He's uh, on a, oh, my gosh. So clever. I don't see a post, Carecrow. Oh, you lied to me. <laughs> oh, stole the corn. Oh, that, okay. I mean, he's not guarding the corn, so I guess that's Yeah, fine. yeah, that's true. He cares more about the crows. Yeah. Which is nice. Crows are cool. Mm -hmm. Don't fuck with crows. Oh, yeah. I'll remember. That's your big fear. Mm -hmm. This, this looks like a very sad barn. <laughs> Foreign languages. <clears throat> no! Shut up, Flux. Hubba hubba, ring a ding ding, kalabanga. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Flux. <laughs> you, you embarrass us wherever we go. <laughs> Butter, I'm terribly sorry, but there isn't any more. None at all. Butter, no, we. You see, the churnitron is. I guess we're gonna fix it and get some butter. How did you know? Uh, you must be. Without butter, life is barely worth living. I, you know, I strongly agree. <laughs> Pure sweet creamery butter. Unhappy day. Unhappy day. But we will soldier on, and you must as well. Courage. <laughs> Say, aren't you ladies supposed to be on all fours? <gasps> Oh, oh, the nerve! <gasps> oh, my goodness! No, 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 that's... that's oh, that's, wow. Footed mouth. It's just that, in my world, uh... <laughs> get it. I, I, I'm really sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, anyone with the good manners to apologize is welcome in our stable. By the way, my name is Drew, and this here is Flux. Goodness me, where are my manners? I'm Marge, and this is Polly. And this machine is my... Who's the guy in the corner? Well, we'll meet him later. But why wouldn't she introduce us? He don't matter. Awkward. Oh, and we're going to talk about him, too. This is, uh. <laughs> the poor thing is on the fritz and has been for quite some time. Oh, it seems like an eternity since my last milking. I don't mind telling you that my... Um, oh, please. I do no, mind. Uh... Oh, oh my gosh. From old journey here. Oh, you're going to censor this part, right? Uh, we were a team. Together, we made the sweetest, purest butter in all of the You know that milk can make other things, right? Like, just butter. Uh, my memories. Look, I'm sure it's a real shame about this. Can we not call it that? <laughs> Drew. All right. Oh, if you're uncomfortable now, just you wait. Oh, God, are we going to milk this cow? I, you'll, you'll see what happens. Oh, God. Ooh, besides, you could have a career in the... Oh. Short one, of course. It's sweet of you to try... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Until... The like, they, she doesn't even... I don't know if she realizes what he said. Yeah. Maybe they don't have beef burgers in uh, this world. But then how would he know about them? I maybe in Zane, maybe in Zany do, but not Qtopia. Oh, uh, fair enough. Broken down from simple overuse. I do so enjoy making butter. One minute. It's oh. Time, turning away. Then all of a sudden, a metal thing about Bob flew off. We looked everywhere, but we couldn't find it. If only we had a way of getting that part. Without it, my life is meaningless. You know, Marge, meaning, purpose, all that stuff is overrated. Okay. 
completely pointless, and he's loving every minute of it. It's a weird view on life. Yeah. But one said, those who seek meaning in their lives are... What the... Ah! He was run over by a runaway ice cream truck before completing his last work. But for all us Sanians, there is profound meaning to be found. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, and I thank you. <laughs> no, we aren't. Domesticated <laughs> Drew, maybe. Yeah, Drew. Yeah, Drew is overall a pretty good guy. Yeah. Usually, when Flux gets like a little lippy, Drew usually reins him in. Mm hmm It's a little quiet. Elmer, yes, Elmer's special. Special? You know, it's a nice silo, but it isn't holding any grain. Hmm. Yeah, a little awkward. No grain. Grain? I just figured he was a total retard. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. And like I said... This is a different time. Yeah, Drew at least kind of calls him out on it. Yeah, it is a different time. Same with kind of the Carecrow. A little dated. A little dated. Move along. Move along. Get it? Do you get it? Move. Oh, Drew, come on, man. <laughs> Oh no! It's not Polly. Oh. No, I f oh the I'll guilt. Like that, I feel like I'm about three feet high. You are about three feet high. Cool. For a second there, I thought I developed a conscience. <laughs> hmm. So they mentioned that there's a part that flew into this haystack here. Oh, is it a needle? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll have to come back later, cause uh. Flux, have you searched that haystack? Sure, buddy. Okay, leave him. Just go. <laughs> this is your chance, you fool. Just digging around isn't getting us anywhere. Yeah. Huh? We don't quite have the right tool for this yet. Okay. Hand in there. Do it, I command you. Yeah. Stick your hand in the I poop. I am your god. Right in the poop. But, oh. uh... Okay, sure. I really want this poop. Alright, that's fair. I just, I just need it common daily dilemma for you. <laughs> yep, yep. Is anybody home? Just answer yay or nay. <laughs> oh no, he's a, he's a regular horse. <laughs> mouth. So Elmer is uh, voiced by Frank Welker. Okay, I don't know who that is. No, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> where, uh, hold on, where are my notes? Oh, I forgot him. Ah, oh, that's great. Um, uh, basically, any animal sound you hear in a cartoon is most likely Frank Welker. Okay, so he was really skilled at that. Yeah, like he was Abu in uh, Aladdin. Oh, okay. That squirrel is really angry. He's in the way. What's the Malevolandian Briar Patch? Hedium Thornius et Ultium. <laughs> Yeah, let's check out that angry squirrel over here. Okay. Oh. Yep, he's uh, angry. Okay. Squirrel will let me do that. Hmm. Well, also, it's really high. I mean, there's a lot of problems here. Let's, well, we Oh, okay, yeah, that's friend. fine. Yeah, you do it. Yeah, you will get punched by a squirrel. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, just, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, get him. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, I have aired. <laughs> I'm glad we got to do that. <laughs> That's what you get for your bad language. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have to come back later to get both that pepper and the squirrel's nuts. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be mature here. Because, <laughs> I mean, the game certainly can't be. Yeah. Hmm, spooky. Oh, spooky. Yeah, is, oh my gosh. <clears throat> you gonna try to sell us a car? <laughs> Lovely day for a stroller, ain't it? BB Wolf at your service. BB, short for Big Bad. Catchy. And practical. Big Bad is a real mouthful. Another crack like that, my friend. And you'll be the mouthful. Is this uh, Jim Cummings again? Yes, this is uh, Jim Cummings. Fantastic. Hmm. This is the thing, this is basically the voice he uses for the terror mask. In yeah, it's, it's pretty similar. Very sure. good gravelly. Yeah, yeah, it worked pretty good. Mm -hmm. I got a little flavor to ask you. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'd like to see more voice actors um, in video games. Yeah, that have 
with just like more animated voices. Not that we don't already have really good voice actors working in video games, but mm -hmm. you know, it is it is just nice to see this kind of stuff. Yeah. Hey, I can feel Vo voice acting in any sort of game can really make or break things. Mhm. Mm it it kind of heightens it. And well, that said, I mean, uh Bad voice acting is its own special kind oh, of uh, yeah, that's, charm. It's pretty magical sometimes. Yeah. It's got to be the right kind of bad, though. Oh, yeah. Not just, like, boring bad, but, like... Oh, see, I'm not asking you to keep an eye out. I'm telling you to bring me some stinking wine if you want to get through these woods alive. Mm -hmm. All right, that's fair. Now, I want to wish you and your friend good luck in your missionary. That's real big of you, BB. Of course. Everything about me is big. Ooh. I was just thinking, what big eyes you've got. Oh, the better for seeing how you ain't got my wine yet. Get going. Mm hmm Ooh. Yeah. Just a feisty one. Mm hmm So, uh, let's chat him up. All right, let's do. Just so we're, you know, completely clear on this, what... What kind of wine did you want us to get? A common sewer like me drinks only the finest voltage. Something with a nice croquet and a fancy label. Finest vintage. Nice bouquet. Fancy label. You don't need to correct him to his face. <laughs> now stop asking stupid questions and get me my wine before I get infuriated. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so, baby, do you prefer red or white? Meat? Wine. Either, as long as it's classy. An excellent choice, sir. Yeah, that's that's mm. how I pick my wine. Yep. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, so that's kind of another thing that we need to put on our list of shit to do. Uh, we can't go into the Maleva lands until we get BB here a bottle of wine. Well, I guess we'll, we'll do that then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, Squirrel, uh, cheer up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. It's zangy, dude. That's where I live. Huh. Yeah, and we're going to be checking out uh, Zany Do next time. Oh, man. I can mm -hmm. hardly wait. Mm -hmm. We will see you guys then. Yeah. <laughs>